But you fool with God if you want. And watch God raise a prophet up in your life. Tell you, thus saith the Lord, set your house in order. Your days are numbered. Mm-hmm. God's going to raise up prophets that's going to go up to folks and say, you won't see your next birthday. Have a happy one this year. You see, we're getting ready to see the day of God's hand. And you better make sure this thing is real in you. And if there's something in you that's growing that's not God, you better root it out now before it becomes a stump. If something have you, you better let it go. If your feelings are wounded, bruised in the house of the Lord, you better say, walk on me some more. I'm not broken yet. Your feelings hurt, amen. You feel like staying home. You better push your way and say, I'm pushing my way because I see a root of bitterness trying to grow in me. Amen. I got a problem with you, but I'm sitting next to you because God's working something out of me. So God has put you in my life like sandpaper. Amen. You're smoothing me out. I love you because God has you doing a work in me. Amen. I need to be crucified and my friends cannot do it. So I need you to nail me to my cross called Calvary. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, you want the glory of this thing, but you don't want to carry that cross. So Jesus told them to count up the cost. The man must deny himself completely, sacrificing and giving all he was. And had to meet the needs of a lost and a desperate world. This is Jesus we're talking about. Our prime example. It's amazing how many of us, we want the blessings of the Lord, but we don't want the sacrifice that comes along with it. If some of you even understood the hours I kept, you would say, God, keep me on my day job. Some persons are willing and determined to go to the ends of the earth. However, Jesus said that he, the son of man, was the pattern of life. He is the pattern of life that must be accepted. Many are committed, but their commitments are self-commitments. You make your own arrangements. Like, see, I was going to make my own arrangement for the 30 until God spoke to me earlier this morning and said, why don't you do 90? I don't see 90 in your word, but you hear it coming out of my mouth. That's my rhema to you. Mm, Y'all can't handle that. Y'all can hardly deal with the logos. So I know you ain't ready for a tailor-made word. You can handle it if God told you. God told this man, this man, he said, I, I'll follow you, but I gotta go, bur go bury my father. You know, I gotta show up for the funeral. Imagine Jesus. No, don't go. It's a cult. I know this isn't God. Well, hang out with me for five more minutes. So they have self-commitments. We must realize that self-commitments can rise from, number one, strong wills. Mm -hmm. Some of you came to Christ with a strong will. You had an attitude before you got here. Yeah, now too, before you came to this church, strong will. Amen. See, some of you think that this money thing is just us trying to get more money from you. Mm, it's a breaking of your will and a changing of the location of your heart. Yeah. It's a deliverance. Every offering here is a deliverance. Right. Folks say, you know, they take up a whole lot of money. That say, no, 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 that's, that's deliverance, child. Now, I found that money. I, I know, I know. See, see that demon yelling out in you. But if you get delivered, that demon will be silent. Yeah. Number two, strong determinations. Number three, strong discipline. And the person can follow through in a great way, but self-commitment is not enough for Christ. There has to be a total commitment to the Son of Man, abandoning, um, abandoning all of self and all of the world. Jesus began to let us know in Luke 9 and verse 23, and he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself take up his cross daily this is a daily thing touch your name and say this is a daily thing 
take up his cross daily and follow me. See, and this is part of the role of the care group leader is because you were not saved to be a Christian. Jesus caused you to be born again to make you a disciple, a disciplined follower. And then as a disciple, you are supposed to be caring or discipling others. Amen. While some are caught up in the title, they don't want the responsibility that comes with it. Let me tell you what the title pastor is, since that's the first title I have to take a hold of. Pastor is a shepherd. He leaves the 90 and 9 and go looking for the one. Amen. So sometimes y'all sit here and say, why is Bishop embarrassing folks? Why, what's, why, why are you sitting there holding a conversation with that one sheep? Where you been? How you doing? Good to see you. Where you been? I haven't seen you. So if you want to say, why don't Bishop go in his office? He's tired. Why is he at the back door? Because I have to lay my hands on my sheep. I got to see if there's any ticks on you, any diseases. When I touch your hand and shake your hand as you're going out of the door, God speaks to me. Amen. I'm shaking hands with spirits. How are you doing? Bless you. How's everything? Amen. Amen. I know sometimes people want to keep you away and say, leave the bishop alone. Amen. But I said, no, 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 no. Let, let them come. I need to talk to them. I, how are you doing? Is everything okay? Amen. And then some of you don't even understand the purpose of God. You've been here 10 years, and then you don't understand. They just got here, and bishop spent all that time with them because that's a lamb dear we can't let that hang out with the other sheep so we got to bring them in a little closer amen so it looks like they're getting special attention which they are amen it looks like they're getting special because you don't know what they've been through at the last place they came out of they may have been at the point of suicide amen but you're so busy jockeying for position that you misunderstand the purpose of God So you're busy trying to jockey and see who will sit on the right hand and who will sit on the left hand. And, and, and God's looking and said, all of you are ignorant. Amen. He says, if you want to be great in my kingdom, why don't you go somewhere and serve? You don't know what kind of war story somebody had. You don't know what neighborhood they lived in. Maybe the garbage pail was their dinner table. You don't know who's sitting on the seat beside you. God told us that he was bringing the rich and the poor in here and said they were mixed together that you wouldn't even know the difference. Some folks that are sitting next to you right now was just days away from homelessness. Some sitting in here right now are homeless. You wouldn't know it. And they wouldn't dare give you their real testimony you change your seat because God may speak to you to minister to that. What is this prosperity for that God brings us into? Why does God empower us so that we can empower others? Gives you the power to get wealth so that you can establish his covenant. What is the purpose of the deaconess is collecting 5 and $10 a week and you ducking and dodging them and you see them come with the dues and you going out the other door and you leave them before the benediction is over and the deacons, are, forget it. They, they just tell you flat out, no, I ain't got it this week. No, just leave me alone. I ain't giving no money. Amen. And, and, and you're just stupid. Don't even understand that God is doing something here to build a house and teaching you how to network and trust one another and beginning to build something so that something can begin to happen happen to come out of your community. Amen. So here we're sitting here because we don't have enough funds. Your children sitting in public schools, yes. learning that Columbus discovered the world, yes. being taught that, you're, that you, you are descendants of slaves, yes. giving you courses that does not develop you as an individual, but make you inferior in your mental capacity. Right. And you'll sit here and fight what God is doing.